Good morning. Welcome to a morning yoga for stiff body, but it can be done anytime you need a good stretch. Let's get into it. We will begin in a wide leg child pose at the back of your mat. Big toes touching, knees can be apart. Now they don't need to be too far apart. See what feels best this morning or whatever time of day you're doing the class. Once you've found your position, palms to the mat, lower your body, your heart to the earth. Taking this moment to arrive, just a few moments of silence. As we start our day, become more aware of your breath. What's it like this morning? Or maybe you've started off really deep breathing. Either way, don't try and change it, just watch it for a moment. Now, tapping into some bigger belly breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhaling. Exhaling, letting it go. Last one, inhaling, you feel your stomach and hold it at the top. When you're ready, Exhale with an audible sigh. Inhaling, we're going to reach the left arm high. Feeling into our first little twist. And as we exhale, cross it under your body. Placing your left shoulder to the mat. Right arm stays extended out long. Left palm open to the sky. Foreheads grounding into the mat. Getting a nice shoulder stretch. You should feel this in your left shoulder, keeping both hips grounding, left elbows grounded, breathing here. Maybe this feels really gentle for you or maybe it's quite intense. Either way, we will only be here for a few more moments, a few more cycles of breath. Just breathe into it. Great. Moving out of the pose, lift your left arm up and send it back out. Moving to the other side, right arm reaching to the sky, open up into that twist if you like. And let it wrap underneath your body, right shoulder to the mat, right palm open to the sky. The palm is extended out long, grounding into the earth. Maybe this side feels a little different, totally normal. A few more breaths. Waking up our upper body. Let's move out of the shape Unraveling, send your right arm back out long to meet the left. Come up to the fingertips, nice little stretch for your shoulders, maybe for your chest as well. One more breath. Palms come back down, pressing yourself up. Keeping your legs wide, walk the palms in between your knees, and we are just going to flip them around so our fingers are pointing in towards us. Getting a stretch for the lower half of our arms or wrists too. 
Now you can flip them upside down, move them back and forth, waking up this area. This is such a good thing to do before a long, intense yoga class, since you'll be using your wrist a lot in these classes. Palms go back out long. We bring our knees together, sitting up tall. Inhale, arms up high. And as you exhale, bend at your left elbow. Left palm comes to lay flat on your back as your right palm rests on your left elbow. Look at me if you need to. We can begin to slightly bend the right side if you want to go even deeper, keeping the chest high, sitting up tall. Last few breaths. Good, gently release. Bring the palms back down. And on your next inhale, reach them up high. Reach, reach, reach. Same thing on the other side. Right palm comes to rest flat on your back and your left palm rests on your right elbow. Remaining up tall or start to slightly bend over to the left side to go deeper. Try not to collapse forward. We want to stay nice and open in our chest making sure we're stretching out our tricep muscles. Last breath. And we will gently release. Palms clasp behind your back as you let your chest sink forward, arms reaching up to the sky. Wherever you land naturally is fine. If it's within your practice, your palm can begin to reach towards the mat in front of you. Maybe we find a little movement, maybe remaining still. Final breath. And very slowly we lift back up. Palms clasp behind the head, elbows draw in towards each other. As your chin comes down to your chest, welcoming in blood flow to your neck. We'll be here for a moment, so enjoy this beautiful neck stretch. You're going to feel so good after this one. And we will lift back up. Beautiful. Give yourself a couple shoulder rolls going one way. And then the other. Good. Palms come to the mat as we make our way into an all fours position. Hips over knees. Shoulders over wrists. Working through a few cat and cows, we drop the belly button towards the mat, open the chest, take the gaze up, and exhale around the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, round your spine. Now finding some more fluid movement making large circles with your body, going one way. When you're ready, you can change it up, going the other way. Maybe looking to one side. Maybe sticking with a simple cat and cow. See what your body's asking for and give it that. Last cycle of breath here. Wherever you are, finish up. And we'll be back in a neutral spine. Good. Tucking under your toes, make your way into a downward facing dog with a generous bend in your knees to begin. Pushing into each fingertip, especially your thumb and your pointer finger. Taking some movement, maybe bending into each side.
Let's find a moment of stillness here. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. On your next inhale, right leg goes high. And on your exhale, step it through to between your palms. Double check your knee is not past your ankle. And we will drop your back knee to the mat. Once we find our solid foundation, we will lift up our torso. The top of your back foot is flat on your mat. Palms come to your thigh for extra support. Now I like to find some movement here, especially when I'm warming it up. I'll rock gently back and forth, trying to get an extra deep stretch. Left palm meets the mat as we extend our right palm to the sky, looking up, breathing deeply, inhaling, and exhale, softening into the pose. Both palms come to your mat now. Tuck under your back toes. Back knee lifts up. And we make our way back to downward facing dog. When you're ready, left leg goes to the sky on your inhale. Doesn't need to be very high, and on your exhale, step through to between your palms. Finding our foundation, back knee comes to the mat, and we lift our torso high. Palms can come to the front thigh, maybe sinking a little deeper, maybe finding some movement. Double checking your left knee is not past your ankle, long spine, top of your back foot is rooting into your mat. Breathing deeply. If you can remain balanced, feel free to close your eyes. Very good. Right palm meets your mat. Extend your left arm up to the sky. Reaching with your fingertips, looking up, feeling into this twist. Inhale, exhale it out. Left palm touches back down. Tuck under your back toes, back knee lifts off. And we make our way back into a downward facing dog. Slowly making our way to the top of the mat. Taking a deep bend in the knees when you get there. Aim to get your belly to touch your thighs. We want a nice long spine. Relax your neck. Only begin to straighten out your legs if you can keep your stomach and your spine long. Walking it out, bending into each side. Such a great stretch for the morning, warming up our hamstrings. Palms clasp behind the back, inhale, and exhale, reaching your palm to the sky, keeping your deep focused breathing going. Release your palms, take hold of opposite elbows. Maybe you walk your feet a little wider and begin to sway gently back and forth. This is our ragdoll shape. Try not to lean too far back in the heels. Setting a lot of the weight in the ball of the foot. Very good. Release the palms and incredibly slowly make your way up to a tall spine, head and neck coming last. Reaching your arms up over your head and exhale through heart center. Arms at your side. Check to make sure your weight is equally distributed in your feet. Slightly draw your navel in towards your spine. Draw your shoulders up towards your ears and then let them fall naturally back down away from your ears. Beautiful. Reaching the arms up, interlacing the fingers with the index finger pointing up to the sky. 
Press each toe into the ground, evenly distributing your weight into your feet. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Bend the upper body from the waist to the right. Engaging the core to keep you lifted. Keep the chest open. Remembering to breathe. You should feel a nice stretch in the left side body. One more breath. And back to center. Bending to the left this time. Keep your shoulders open, facing out, drawing your navels to the spine. Last breath. Beautiful, back to neutral, arms at your side. Inhaling, reaching your arms high, and exhale, fold forward, leading from your heart. Inhale, halfway lift to a tall spine. Exhale, palms to your mat, stepping back to down dog. Inhaling, reach your right leg high, and exhale, find pigeon pose. Right knee to the right side of your mat. Right foot falling somewhere on your left side. Your right foot can be next to your left palm or closer to your hip, somewhere in between. Keep your hip centered. Top of your back foot is grounded. Remaining upright or fold forward, landing on your palms, forearms, or relaxing all the way down. We won't be here very long. Focus on keeping your hips centered. Close down your eyes if you're comfortable doing so. Last breath. If you're folded forward, press into your palms and make your way back up. And slowly back in a downward facing dog. Right to the other side. Left leg goes to the sky on your inhale. And exhale, pigeon. Centering your hips. Again, allow your left foot to land wherever it does naturally. Don't force yourself deeper at the expense of your hips. Remaining upright or folding forward. Close down the eyes for a few moments. That's it for this one. We will slowly lift out of the pose and make our way back to downward facing dog. Lower to your knees and take child's pose. Thank you for starting your day off with me. Thank yourself for showing up on your mat this morning. Have a beautiful day.